Hello, my name is Vincent and I'm one of the sharpeners at Corn Japanese Trading. Today I'd like to talk to you about a Japanese style boning knife. The sharpening technique that we're going to go over today will apply to this one right here which is a honeski. Also will apply for hankotsus and also garaskis. So the first thing you want to decide when you're sharpening one of these is that do you want to keep the factory bevel or do you want to make it into a single bevel knife? The factory bevel is a little bit more durable but if you change this into a single bevel knife, you'll get a much sharper blade. So it depends on how, uh, what you're using the knife for. Again, if you want a sharper knife, uh, make it into a single bevel and it will be a much sharper edge. So I'm gonna go over the factory bevel first. I'm gonna start right here on the diamond stone right here. And just like any other knife, I'm gonna start on the back side. Now when sharpening the back side, you want to lift the blade up very, very little and we want to work on the back uh, as little as possible. So with a very slight angle, I'm going to work from the tip of the blade and work down the knife. Now all I need to do is a couple of strokes because all I'm trying to do is align the blade up for when I sharpen the front side. Now when sharpening the front side, there's no penny rule that I've been using in the previous uh, videos. And that's due to the fact that you need to use a very, very steep angle for these knives. So what you're trying to do is finding the correct angle where the bevel is completely flush on the stone. And that takes a little bit of practice. But keep in mind that it is a very, very steep angle compared to the other knives. Once you find that proper angle, just like any other knife, you want to start on the very tip and press away from you, working in sections and continuing down the blade. And what you're looking for is a burr to form on the opposite side of which you're sharpening. Once you get that burr, then you can repeat the process on your next stone and then you're finally your finishing stone. If you want to turn this into a single bevel knife, the only difference is that instead of giving a little angle on the back, what you're going to do is completely lay the knife flat on your stone and work up and down for a couple of seconds. By doing this over time, your knife will become a single bevel knife. Uh, another thing to keep in mind when you do this is you're going to notice that there will be scratches on the back of your knife which is completely fine. It's just aesthetics and it's not going to uh, affect the performance of your knife whatsoever. The front side is completely the same. You're going to look for the correct angle where the bevel will be completely flush on the stone. And once you find that angle, you're going to work down the knife in sections. and check for a burr. Once you get that, again, you're done with the first stone and we're gonna repeat on the next stone, which is the medium stone. So I'm gonna continue sharpening this as a single bevel knife. So what I'm gonna do first is go completely flat on the back and work for a couple of seconds. Then I'm going to find the correct angle on the front again and just like before, work down the knife. And I'm going to check for a burr and once that burr is there, I'm done with the medium stone and I'm going to move on to my final stone. Now when sharpening one of these uh, boning knives, whether it's a garaski, a honeski, or a hankotsu, I may recommend using a lower grit finishing stone, such as this 3000 grit stone. This is just going to work better when you're working with these uh, fattier and uh, oilier meats and protein. The technique is basically the same. We're going to start on the back. Then we're going to work on the front. Now keep in mind, because this is a finishing stone, you don't want to press too hard. Press much lighter than the previous stones or else you're going to end up crushing the edge that you just worked on.
keep working the knife until you see that the bevel is polished and refined and that there is no burr remaining. Once you get all the burr off and that you do see that it is a very refined edge, then that is it for sharpening and you should have a fairly sharp boning knife.